Hello YouTube, this is Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive uh, and out of the kindness of my uh, scant heart I'm bringing you another tutorial uh, for Unity uh, for those of you who you know are into the whole development bag uh, this time addressing another reasonably common question uh, how do I make a teleporter in Unity? Uh, I've put together a little demo scene uh, with some scripts here all available for download on the blog if you care to check that out uh, let's have a look here in our little world, our sort of dry world here, we have two teleporters, a red and a green. Now let's have a look at greeny here. The green outline you can see there is the trigger area, which is a collider marked is trigger. Um, this game object contains a very simple teleporter script, which is available in the download from the blog, as I mentioned. And if we have a look over here, this is a cue to me to zoom, you can see it has a destination parameter into which you drag the destination teleporter. In this case, it is the red teleporter. So the summary of this is if the, the game object marked player enters this trigger area here, they will be teleported to destination, which is red. Now, how does this work? Uh, on trigger enter in the script, it will check to see that the object that entered it was a player object. Um, if this teleporter hasn't been triggered yet, and this is to factor in if you enter it and it will just teleport you repeatedly, it will move you to the destination position, which is red over here, and then once you leave the uh, trigger of red here, it will say this teleporter is now okay to use again. So uh, just a little bit of debugging, or well, not debugging, well, preventative debugging you could call it, in that it prevents being a bug. So why don't we hit play and see what it actually does. Cool, here we are. Default skybox, default grass. Now let's go into ready. And go. Oh, and here I am. And go. Oh, and here I am. So as you can see, it works very nicely. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. This has been Joshua McGrath from Doppler Interactive, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.